Hi there, this is the video you were looking for. So in today's video we are going to solve Windows Update Error. By increasing the Windows Recovery Partition Size to 700 megabytes, because many users typically set it to 300 or 500 megabytes, but still they encounter errors. And then we will download an update from Microsoft and apply a script to fix it. By following these steps my issue is fixed. So let's get started. To simplify the process here, I have already created the code for your convenience. Your job is just to copy paste and type the corresponding number of your system. To apply the code, just search here CMD and then run as administrator. First to verify whether our system has a recovery partition or not, for this I copy command reagency space forward slash enable and then I run it here. Operation successful appears, that's good. Let me clarify one more thing here if you get this error below, then watch the above video or follow description. So now I want to check its location by running the command reagency space forward slash info. As you can see here, it is enabled and its location is on hard disk 1 and partition 3. So remember it for later because it will help you to select correct disk and recovery partition. So for now I disable it by command reagency space forward slash disable. Now to perform actions on hard disks, for this I run command disk part. Now to check the partition style and list of disks, for this I run command list disk, by run this command you see here I have two disks. Now I will select disk, here instead of this type your disk number. I will clear it but for now I just copy it and paste it here. Here first type space after select disk then if you look above, here you will see hard disk 1. So whatever digit you see near it you have to put it down it may be change your system. So here in my system it is 1 so I would type it down and then hit enter button. Now I want to see how many partitions this disk has, for that I run command list partition. Here you can see my recovery partition. Its number and also its size is 300 megabytes. If you see more recovery and primary partitions here, then don't worry I will tell you step by step what to do. Here our mission is first to take some space from another partition and then assign it to recovery partition. For that I copy this command and paste it here then I type space. Here I have only one primary partition. If you have additional primary partitions, meaning more than one primary partition, then select the largest one from them. So I select primary partition by its corresponding number, which is 3. So I just copied this command and pasted it below. As you can see above, the size of my recovery partition is 300 megabytes. I want to increase it to about 750 megabytes, because your update won't download if your recovery partition size is less than 700 megabytes. So, I replace 450 instead of 250 in this code. And then hit enter button. Now again I copy and run list partition command. Now, it's time to assign unallocated free space to the recovery partition for that. I copy this command and paste here, then type space. Here I have a single recovery partition, so I type its corresponding number which is 4. Attention here if you see more recovery partitions here, then you can scroll up and get help from the earlier command that you ran, and type below the corresponding value of that partition. So here I have already typed 4. Now I delete this recovery partition by running command delete partition override. Now I want to check the partition style whether it is GPT or MBR, for that I copy and run command list disk. Here you will get an idea from this small star whether it is under GPT or MBR. If it is under GPT, then run these two commands, otherwise it will be MBR and just run this single command. So I run these two commands because my partition style is GPT. The above command was MBR, that's why I left it. Now, I will assign the label winery to this partition, with this command. Next, I will check whether our partition size has increased, and the label has been assigned to it by running the command, list volume. After the command executes, you'll see that its size has increased from 300 megabytes to 750 megabytes, and the label has also been assigned. That's perfect. Now I exit by running this command. After exiting the disk part, now I start the Windows Update services by running this command. Earlier we disabled Windows Recovery Environment due to some operations. Now I am going to restore it again, 
using this command reagency space forward slash enable. After that, I check its status to see if it is enabled or not, and which partition it is, by running this command. After that, check your Windows update. Hope it is done because most people's problem is solved by this step. If still not work, then apply step 2. I am 100% sure that your problem will be fixed by following it. Here first I copy Microsoft Update Catalog web name, and then I open a browser and paste this into it. And then I click on first link. After that I copy Safe OS Dynamic Update from here, and search in this website. Here download the update according to your system. So if you don't know the properties of your system, then you should write about your PC below. After opening it, you will see below, and in it you should see your Windows version, Windows edition, and system type. So I am using Windows 1020H2 and 64-bit system type. So accordingly I search for my update here, and download it. So it matches my system properties, so I download it. After hitting download button, next click on the cab file link below. After downloading, I go to the download directory and cut and paste this cab file on the desktop. After that you just have to download a script so for that you copy this KB5034957 and search it in any browser. After searching you have to click on the first link that appears. So you scroll down here where patch winre underscore general dot ps1 is written and then drop down it. If you scroll down a little bit you'll see a param here. So that's exactly you have to copy the code from here to the last as I do. I copy that code then I go down here to the search bar, and here I search for notepad, and after I search I open it up. Before pasting code here, let me clarify one thing that your extension should be visible. If not, then do it like this as I do. For now I paste code here, then I click on file and then I click on save. Here I remove default name, and I give script.ps1 name to this file. Now here below I change its type to all files, and for file location I also select desktop and then I click on save button. Guys up to here our everything is completed, we are just one step away. So what you need to do now is to search for PowerShell from here, and then run it as administrator. Now I copy the command get execution policy, and paste it here in PowerShell, and then I run it. In the same way I copy the second command, and then I run it in Windows PowerShell. Here you have to write Y, and then press Enter from the keyboard. After that, you have to give the paths of the two files that you downloaded, so I go to Desktop. Here first, provide the path of the script file. Right-click on the file, select Properties. After that you will see its path here. So I copy this path, then I come to PowerShell, and I paste it here. Now type backslash, and then give full name of the script file here. In the same way, give the path of the second file here. After that, press Enter then your script will run. It takes a little time, so you have to be patient for it. Hope you don't face any hurdles while doing this. Obviously, this video will solve your problem. Here, a success message is displayed because I ran it earlier. After executing the command completely, check out my gift in the form of an update. In return, I don't want anything from you except a single like and subscribe. Stay blessed.